everyone, and welcome back to Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Today is season 2, episode 15. Nope, nope, 16. I'm Big Frost. I hope you're having a great day. Um, you've had a great day. I am very excited because last episode, Oz became a werewolf, which is not something I expected to come out of this episode, but apparently it did. It was. It happened. Um, and. I really thought we were going to talk about, um, you know, freaking Angel, <laughs> and but it was, like, briefly mentioned, and he, like, kind of, like, um, bit someone, bit to make Buffy mad, and, like, be kind of a dick about it, like, she, in other words, <laughs> um, so, yeah, maybe we're gonna talk about it more in this episode, but I liked how they kind of, like, they brought it up, and they were like, it's like, we haven't forgotten, but, like, it's not the main focus of this episode, so, yeah. Uh, it's people were telling me, well, someone told me, grab your tissues, and I was like, but why? <laughs> but why? <laughs> why do I want tissues? Um, so I'm kind of a little bit scared. There's, like, not that many episodes left until the end. Three, there's 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and then 21, 22, I think. Wait, yeah, so 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 22. I count them as one because I'm doing it like at the same time. There's like six episodes left, and then after this episode, five. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Yeah, five. Holy shit. I feel like I started like season two a freaking millennia ago because i've because yeah i know because it's like there's 10 more episodes in season two than there is in season one but still it feels like it's been forever and in season four there's like angel that comes in <laughs> what what it's in, that's freaking insane um so yeah gosh can't believe it insane well yeah I don't really have anything else to say, I don't think, apart from the usual. If you are new to the channel, hi, thanks for joining. Uh, I love watching Buffy. You can watch all my previous videos um, about Buffy and other stuff if you want to. <laughs> um, there's Patreon if you want to see my full and then cut reaction to the whole episode. Uh, also, if you want, there's a Buffy Reactors Discord where it's basically a bunch of reactors uh, that post, like, they're just, there's, you get a notification every time, um, they publish something, um, and you can chat to people about Buffy if you want, and we don't get spoiled by anything, so that's always nice. Um, so yeah, you can check it out, you can leave a like if you like the video, comment what you thought, I love reading your comments so much, please keep with the comments, increase the comments, so many comments, love it, um, and subscribe to the channel. And, uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go. It's nice. But do you think Cordelia will like it? I don't know. Sure. But you know what one of these is? <laughs> okay, big yucks. When are you guys going to stop making fun of me for dating Cordelia? Never. I'm sorry, but never. Yeah. I just think you could find somebody more better. Fair. A parallel universe, maybe. <gasps> the person I'm interested in is... Uh, I know there's not going to be a parallel I'm universe, there. but that would be... So nice. Besides, Cordy and I are really getting along. We're not fighting as much. Are you still in love with Buffy? Together, not even speaking. Mean, my Valentines are usually met with heartfelt restraining orders. That's not good. She'll love it. I wish dating was like slang, you know? Simple, direct, stake to the heart. No must, no fuss. <laughs> God, that was scary. I love how there's literally a delay time between like being bitten yeah but i don't think they're gonna stay that long together in the way that like he can't really find why he loves her but since he's being more romantic than her because she just wants to hide the relationship so I don't know why he's always guest a guest star. Seth who green who's Oz. Hey, wait up. Excuse me. Where's the fire 
help. Oh, sorry. Didn't see you. Well, why didn't you call me back last night? We need to talk about our outfits for the dance. I'm gonna wear red and black, so you need to switch. Red and black? Is that what Xander likes? Xander? What does he have to do with this? Well, a girl wants to look good for her game. Ah, uh, they find out. <laughs> Baby's my ticket to a sweet D minus. That's not good. That's hey, Amy. Hey. You're still failing. You guys going to the Valentine's Day dance with the bronze? It's gonna be <gasps> Amy! Go ahead. You know you want to say it. My boyfriend's in the band. <laughs> cool. I think you've now told everybody. Only in this hemisphere. What about you? Ah. Uh, oh, Valentine's Day is just a cheap gimmick to sell cards and chocolate. Bad breakup, huh? Believe me when I say, uh-huh. Yeah, no, it's, it's not even a breakup. It's hey. death. Yes, I think Amy just worked some magic on Miss Beekman. You mean like witchcraft? You know her mom's a witch. And an amateur psycho. Amy's the last person that should be messing with that stuff. Maybe I should go talk Puffy. to her. Puffy. Could I have a word? Have a sentence, even. Oh, good. Back well, it up before you leave. Okay, what is happening exactly? It feels like. Rupert? It's coming. What is happening? It's like there's the stuff with Cordelia, and there's Amy that's suddenly back after literally a season and a half. And then I thought they had made up, but I guess not. What the fuck? Are they truly in a parallel universe? <laughs> but just them? On, uh, his yes, make her feel more bad. Around Valentine's Day, he, he, he's rather prone to uh, well, um, brutal displays. I would think of it as affection, I suppose. Like what? No, no. Uh, I mean, so it's not PG-13. That's not PG. That bad? Suffice it to say, I, I think it would be best Freak. if you stayed off the streets for a few nights. Dude, I don't want to see your face right now. Fancy it, Pat? Neither of your faces right now. Nothing but the best for my girl. Hmm. Happy Valentine's Day, Drew. Oh. Angel. It's still warm. I knew you'd like it. Here. Oh, wow. Stealing the present as well. I'll get it. I know Joe gives you pity access, but you have to admit it's so much easier when I do things for her. You would do well to worry less about Drew and more about that slayer you've been tramping around with. Here, Buffy. Mm. Keep... I'm still trying to decide the best way to send my regards. It's like what Angel is really literally kind of a demon, right? Spike, yes, he's a vampire, but he's in love with Drew and he loves Drew. And he's doing, he was doing this ritual out of concern for Drew and stuff. And he doesn't really, I mean, he, I'm not saying he's suddenly a good person. But compared to Angel, who seems so much like merciless and brutal and stuff like that, he feels more human in a way. Might make an impression. Well, the judge did say that he didn't have, oh, shut the fuck up. You know, he doesn't because this would weird out every girl except your face. Dingoes ate my baby. The fuck is that supposed to mean? But I love that Severin was just. Oz was just like a background character that slowly became a main and not just a random person that because he was there with like Cordelia and stuff. Oh my god, this looks so nice. I wonder if Angel can still come in. Because he she invited Mom? oh wait no she's Mom? gone and all the food is gone as well 
Are you having a nightmare? Because the mom can just suppress Tabernak. Shit. Maybe it's a continuity error? That I that was nothing on the table. There was like a bunch of food. <sighs> this whole episode feels like there's just something off. Right? There's just something that's weird. Oh, but she's not gonna want to see him. Just lately, the why and the wherefore. You know, once, twice, a kissy here, a kissy there. Can you just get to it before she breaks up with you? To hormones, and maybe that's all we have here. Tadri, teen love. Oh my God, he sucks. But maybe not. Maybe okay. something in you sees something special inside me, and vice versa. I mean, I think I do see something. So, I want to break up. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> and I hate that she's literally doing this out of fucking peer pressure. Honestly, I know <sighs> I don't Cordelia is not a bad person and stuff. So don't take this in them like I don't like the character. But if she's willing to break up with you because her friends don't like you, she doesn't deserve you, bro. Just fuck off. Specialness. We don't fit. Who gives a flying fuck? Okay. Nobody gives one fuck. Do you know what's a good day to break up with somebody? Any day besides Valentine's Day. You I mean, bitch. What? Yeah. You run a low on dramatic irony? I know. I didn't mean to do it this way. I... Well, you did. Fuck you. Yeah. That was bitchy. How does everybody know about this? Ooh, fuck you, my bud. You would not believe the Can't talk right now. Angel. Do you need help? It's all right. That sucks. Oh my god, people suck. Gee, Xander, maybe you should learn a second language so that even more girls can reject you. I saw you working that mojo on Miss Beekman. Okay, maybe I've. I've tell somebody about but that's not even. That is so mean. Blackmail is such an ugly word. I didn't say blackmail. You lit. Yeah, but I'm about to blackmail you, so I thought I'd bring it up. What do you want? <laughs> What do I want? I want some respect around here. I want. Are you in a parallel world? Universe was gonna come out to bite me in the ass. I love parallel world dimension travel tropes. It's my jam. I love it so much, right? Um. Especially when they're clueless about where they are. I know it's this whole thing. This is not what I mean. <laughs> this is not what I mean. And I get it because literally, you're for some for some reason everybody in your school doesn't have a fucking life, so they're all like aiming at you for some dumbass reason. Seriously, get a fucking life. Getting like. Laughing at a guy who got dumped on Valentine Valentine's Day. Like, do you not have anything to do with yourself? And like, what's his what? So what he's gonna do? What I don't know. It's gonna be dumb. Is I want her to want me desperately so I can break up with her and subject her to the same hell she's been putting me through. Oh, I don't know, Xander. Intent has to be pure with love spells. Right. I intend revenge. Pure as a driven snow. It's not pure at all. Are you gonna play or do we need to have another chat about invisible homework? I'll need something of hers. A personal one. She's gonna do something to it. That was a mischievous face. I don't think he knows out there. He's gonna fuck everything up. Oh, 
Come on, don't flatter yourself. I'm not gonna make a big scene. I just want the necklace back. What? I thought it was a gift. No, last night it was a gift. Today it's scrap metal. Figure I can melt it down, sell it for fillings or something. You're pathetic. You're the Come one on, who I'm broke up with him on... Because she, she still likes him. She just got peer pressured. Peer, peer pressured. It's on her neck, isn't it? Yeah. thing we broke up. Now I have to pretend I like it. You're literally the one that did that. And you still like him, so... I'm just annoyed. Bring about this love and bless it. It's... Yeah, so I... I think it's gonna have worked too much or something. That's gonna be so embarrassing. For either Cordelia, for just Xander. You guys know I don't like secondhand embarrassment. I don't think you know. You know now. I, I knew you guys knew. Morning, ladies. Yeah, no, that's what I thought. <laughs> That's my fault. I mean, she did she did have magic in her hands, but like I don't it. Yeah. You can't be sniffing around for more jewelry to melt because all you ever gave me was that small mart looking thing. <laughs> is this love? Because maybe I knew it doesn't look that different. What are you doing? Are you going like stalker boy on me now? Sorry, my mistake. Yeah, I should say so. What is his deal? You mean make Angel come after you? No, I mean chop me into little pieces and stick me on hooks for fish to nibble at because it would be more fun than my life. Yeah. I heard about you and Cordy. That's Cordy. Yeah. Not really the popular theory. You know what I'd like? Why don't you and I do something together tonight? Just the two of us. What spell did really? she do, though? Oh my god, did the spell work for her? Right? Okay, uh, you do know that I'm Xander, right? I don't know, I just... heard that you and Cordy broke up, and... I guess I was just surprised how glad I was. Did the spell work for her? It's funny. How you can see someone every day, but... Yeah, I think it did. Not really see them, you know? Well, we can always try again. I am still pretty new at this. Oh, no, 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 it's okay. You know what? It was wrong to meddle with the forces of darkness. I see that now. I think we've all grown. I gotta go. <gasps> well, we don't have to cast any spells. We can just hang out. Sure. What? Well, I liked spending time with you. You're so sweet. You know, it's funny how you can, you can see a person every day and... Not really see them. Exactly. Oh, uh, it didn't work. Did it work f for everybody but Cordelia? <laughs> That's kind of hilarious, actually. <laughs> oh! Sorry. I wanted to surprise you. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. Don't be so jumpy. I've been in your bed before. Yeah, but Will, we were both in footy pajamas. And you were like ten. I've been. Thinking oh my God. I think I know what you. In fact, I can even back up a few paces and still be happy. <laughs> See. I want you, Xander. Is she not wearing underwear as well? To be my first. Basement. Please tell me we're talking baseball. And she's gonna kind of. No, it's right. She's gonna. It's not that I don't find you sexy. Is it Oz? Don't worry about him. He's sweet, but he's not you. Okay, no, that's. Yes, he is. And you should go to him. Because he's me. Oh boy! I, I don't want to use force. Use force. Xander is wounded because of you. 
Are you tripping? I thought you wanted me to break up with him. Only a sick pup would let Xander get away, no matter what her friends said. <laughs> Will that actually draw her back? Cake to make you people happy. Nothing. That's the whole thing. <laughs> Not the music. This isn't what you thought it was gonna be. If you. I mean, no, this isn't popular. This is borderline obsessive. Even the teacher! I know it's a spell, but come on! And he can't even talk to Amy because she's under the spell as well. Holy shit, this is bad. Oh my god. I love how nobody was willing to follow him into the library, though. <laughs> It's me. Throwing myself at your mercy. What? Why? I made a mess, Giles. See, I found out that Amy's into witchcraft, and I was hurt, I guess, so I made her put the love whammy on Cordy, but it backfired, and now every woman in Sunnydale wants to make me her cuddle monkey, which may sound swell. I'm. Have you been working out? Hmm. See, when you. I cannot believe that you are fool enough to do something like this. Oh, no, I'm twice the fool. <laughs> Right as well. Has, uh, has Amy tried to reverse the spell? I get around to Amy, and all she wants to do is talk honeymoon plants. Robert, maybe I need to talk to Xander alone. Do you have any idea how serious this is? People under a. a... Yep, yep. Draw your own. <laughs> Rupert! No. Okay, I thought he was going out, and I was like, you dumbass. He just said stay. Buffy is gonna get. Oh my god, you're dumb. <laughs> the door opens like that! Did it always open like that? Buff, give me a heart attack. All that sustained me. But not now. That's a good thing. Not like this. Yeah, exactly. Not like this. You're only here because of a spell. I mean, if I thought you had one clue what it would mean to me. But you don't. So I can't. That was kind of. So you're saying this is all a game? A game? I. No! You make me feel this way and then you reject me? What am I, a toy? He doesn't have to say. I know what his heart wants. Oh my I god, guess. this is. I know what your face wants. Oh! Okay! What is this? You're two timing me? God is Hecate, work thy will. Oh, oh shit. Before they left the unseen thing cross. <gasps> what did you do? Oh my god. Is she like a... What did she turn into? A, a centipede? Because Crawley? Nope, she's just a raincoat. <laughs> she's a rat! Why is she here? Can you focus for a minute? You just turned Buffy into a rat. Buffy can take care of herself. Uh, I don't think she can. Go someplace private. Can you? I'm not going anywhere until you change her back. You heard him. So why don't you just undo your little magic trick and get lost? Who made you queen of the world? Well, you're old enough to be. <laughs> well, what can I say? I guess Xander's just too much man for the pimple squad. Oh, my God. You never loved him. You just used him. You make me sick. Okay, Harmony, if you need to borrow my Midol, just ask. What is Midol? <gasps> you two, sit. Be quiet. We have to catch the Buffy rat. Ooh, there. But don't run with loud noises after it. on the phone all night listening to Willow cry about you. Now, I don't know exactly what happened, but I was left with a very strong urge to hit you. Fair. It's a very fair, strong... I didn't touch her, I swear. Santa? Where's Buffy? Did he dye his hair? I didn't see her. I think he did. Who just 
go home. Lock yourself away. You're not going to cause more problems here. Um, Amy, Jenny, and I will uh, try and break the spell. Oz, if, if you could aid us. Were in they the fighting? Um, Buffy. Sure, absolutely. Yeah. Let's go. Get out of my sight. Fair. I know you were like hurt and stuff, but that's, yeah. <laughs> I love that he did that for literally nothing. <laughs> that did exactly fuck all. Damn, that's nice. Everybody is after him. That's Botched the ritual so that Cordelia's necklace actually protected her from the spell. Well, that one should be easily reversible. Where did you learn animal transformation? Why did you send Xander away? He needs me. You're gonna get nowhere. That's a laugh. He loves me. We look into each other's souls. No one can love two people at once. What we have is real. Instead of making me ill, why doesn't one of you try to help me? You have Jenny. And she's gone. <laughs> great. <laughs> that was so great. Lost her. I should have known I'd find you with her. Well, come on, you don't want to hurt me. Oh no. You don't know how hard this is for me. I love you so much. She, she literally did it. That bitch. Oh my god, this is the most intense love spell I've ever seen. Where are you? Oh no, you're still in the school. Fuck, there's a rat. There's a cat. That's not good. Okay, now I really think we've lost him. Damn it, Xander, what's going on? Who died made you Elvis? The Buffy's house, let's get inside, I'll explain later. Come on! Xander, do you have any Yeah, hi. <laughs> yeah, hi. Get smart, uh, okay, I was about to say, wait, you're like immune, but never mind. <laughs> Whatever. You are so tense. Mm. Oh my god. What are you doing? Make me yak. Cordelia, go back upstairs. This is between us. Gross. I think not. What are you doing? Come on. Hey, get your hands off me. Oh. And keep your mom aged mitts. To get girls to want you would be witchcraft. Literally. <laughs> True. Well, yeah, okay, good point. <laughs> oh my god. Let Joyce in. Let Joyce in. Upstairs. Buffy's room. Sweetheart. Good. The mob still hasn't found us. We should be safer up here. Works in theory. T'as tellement pour rapport. What the fuck? Where did you grab Xander? I wanted to do something special for Buffy, actually, to Buffy, but this is so much better. Oof, yeah, no. Super strength against normal strength. I feel very close to you right now. Who is that? Buffy, hi. That fat kitten. Oh my god, is. <laughs> Mummy's here. Is Drew obsessed? I don't know what you're up to. Here's a poem. Oh, I can read. That's not good, that's not good. Really? It doesn't say spare me by any chance. How do you feel about eternal life? Bad, not good. We couldn't just start with a coffee? Yeah, honestly. A movie, maybe? <laughs> Yeah, honestly. Empire against the mob. Ah, uh, sorry, Drew. Guess you're not invited. Okay, well, at least there's. It's never gonna work for us, Xander. We have to end it. I love how they immediately jump to murder. I mean, I don't love it, of course. At least he 
he managed to convince her. I don't know how he did that. Seriously? I mean, it was to love and then for him to break up with you, so it was not really better. Can you actually do that? I mean, don't you need to, like, break the spell by, like, laying it to run its course? I think she was kind of messing around with him. Oh. Is she naked as well? Fuck me. Why didn't they do that before? Ew. Honestly, fair. You think maybe you could get me some clothing? Yes, I can. Just uh, don't go anywhere. <laughs> really, not miss you. <laughs> I love Buffy so much. What did we? Boy, that was the best scavenger hunt ever. <laughs> scavenger? Scavenger hunt. Your mom seemed to buy it. She so buys she everything. Says. Willow won't even talk to me. There. For particular reason she should. How much groveling are we talking here? Everything. Oh, a month at least. Fair. Yeah. yeah. Come on. I mean, this is worse for her than anyone. She loved you before you invoked the great Rufy spirit. The rest of us. You remember, huh? Oh yeah. I remember coming on to you. I remember begging you to undress me, and then a sudden need for cheese. <laughs> I, uh, that would have been that. I think that could be considered rape. I mean, maybe not, but like in the, in the way of, because I think if you in real life you drug someone to have sex with them, it's rape. So this is kind of the same thing. It's robbing them of their will and basically, just putting something else. The one with the three DSL, the very one, said he's thinking of asking me to pledge stamps on Thursday. That's so huge. Yeah. There's just two other girls he's gonna ask first, and if they refuse, then I'll watch it. Sorry. God. You know, I'm glad your mom stopped working at the drive-through long enough to dress you. Oh my god. Uh, that reminds me. Did you see Jennifer's backpack? I love that she just. So Harmony, shut up. Well, you were five seconds ago, but no. And I wear what I want to wear. And you know what? I'll date whoever the hell I want to date. No matter how lame he is. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. She's going to be okay. Just keep walking. Oh, God, what have I done? They're never gonna speak to me again. Much count on Can you please say you apologize? Okay, he he should have gotten an apology. Well, he did try it to my lover, so I guess it's kind of equal, yeah. There wasn't anything, right? No, okay. Oh my god, this episode felt like so bizarre. Right? It felt so bizarre. Um, it's like... At first it started like, just something was always off, like... Sorry, Cordelia being slightly off, and then with Oz, and then like with the hair, uh, with Willow and stuff. That was so freaking weird. What the f <laughs> It was like... It was a good episode. It was not like the best episode out there. Um, I think it did get into a lot of Xander's insecurities and a lot of his um of the stuff he didn't like um and yeah no, that was really fucked up 
and also Buffy was like oh you didn't undress me and I'm like no but you shouldn't have had to say thank you to that <laughs> right I just maybe she said that because she knows how he feels or felt I don't know if he's over it about her but that's still to me that's non-consensual sex if he had done it you know that's i was just very uncomfortable with that and maybe it hits me harder because i'm a woman um com like because I imagine that happening to me and that's really scary that I would like just become a totally different person and just kind of like give my body to someone that I don't want to know and like that's disgusting so it I just imagine myself being in this situation and that you know it it's not fun <laughs> it's it's I don't like I don't I didn't think Xander would do it because he's a good guy. He's a dumb and full guy, but he's he's a good person. I'm just saying, like, she didn't really need to say sorry <laughs> to that. If he's a good person, he will recognize that... I mean, if he had not recognized that Buffy was like... Because at first he didn't. He thought, like, she genuinely liked him back and stuff. Um... But once you realize she is under a love spell and that she's doing this against her will, um, this is not great. Because it's it's in the thing. It's against her will. Um, so that made me feel really icky. Maybe it's because, you know, I'm a teenage girl and that kind of like, you know, you get... I mean, I don't dress in a way that would make people sexualize me. Um... But it's still a risk, and it's something that every girl is warned about, you know? <laughs> like, so that made me feel really icky and not really good. <laughs> I don't know, it's just, I don't know how to describe it. It's just like, you're like, okay, that's, you know, just, and that was not nice. <laughs> I mean, their episode was, was, was nice, it was a nice episode, but like, just with the situation and of course this is when i was thinking about like what could have done happened and stuff and the way willow was just coming after him and she was like i like force and stuff and i was like you don't want that so much that's making me literally emotional holy shit um but yeah um it's not really and she was about to cheat on all and i'm like honestly not talking to him for i know like it's not his fault but no it is he didn't he didn't i'm just saying he didn't do this with the intent of driving like willow crazy and stuff um uh, like getting her to like her but it was still like he did try to do magic to gain his life back and stuff um all right and uh she did almost cheat on Oz and you know I, I don't know do a sort of non-consensual sexual act so yeah I would feel like for other people that just like were just kind of Oh, I'm after the guy and he, oh, I want him to like me, but that's it. It's better than, like, example, like Buffy and Willow who, like, got to the point of... Willow got to the point of actually doing stuff. And poor Xander as well, because... He, like, he, of course, didn't want this and stuff. Um, and that's really scary. And Buffy was seconds away from, like, undressing herself, literally. So that's really fucking scary. <laughs> and it's... I... It's really shameful. Right? It They handled this in a sort of co comedic way. Like when she... Um, 
not exactly comedic, but um, she after she was rushed, she woke up, she was naked and stuff. And like, genuinely, I would cry. <laughs> like, I almost like had sex with someone that I don't want to have sex with, with my mind present and stuff. So that's yeah, me. Yeah, no, I, I, I feel like I've been saying the same thing for like six minutes, um, but that did deeply disturb me, <laughs> that deeply disturbed me, it did, yeah, it didn't really feel that good, um, yeah, so, oh my god, I forgot, my mom was telling me that in the next episode there was a sheep poster, what was it? Ah, oh, shit, I forgot to look. No, fuck. There's the name Albert on a tomb and a cigarette says sheep. Fuck, I forgot. I'm sorry, Palisade. I totally forgot. I feel so bad. I'm also bad with myself and stuff. Um... So yeah, that left me kind kind of subdued. <laughs> you know, it's like, um, also the way I know Cordelia did this out of fear pressure and stuff, but that was still bitchy. <laughs> that was still being a freaking bitch, and I'm glad that she realized that she doesn't need her friend's approval to do this. But I still would have liked her to apologize. But at the same time, Xander did try to do a love spell to do the same thing. So at this point, it's kind of like you both did bad shit and move on, you know, like promise not pr promise, promise not to do it again or something. Um, but yeah, I was like wondering, cause like when we first saw Amy, I was like, why the fuck is she here? It's like no offense, but you've never been here before, and I'm glad that you just kind of like casually brought her back like that. I feel that's pretty cool. Um, and honestly, when Oz punched Xander, deserved, deserved, I would have done it as well, <laughs> honestly. Um, yeah. God, that's scary. <laughs> and like, the worst is you, you remember all of it. I don't know if it's worse if you don't. Um, yeah, no, that's, no, that sucks. Um. <laughs> that yeah no, I'm 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 sorry I just keep thinking about it but that really resonated with me in a not really good way <laughs> that was it was not a fun moment that was not a fun moment yeah I hope also that um Miss Calendar and <sighs> sorry I'm sorry uh, Giles makeup because I kind of forgot that at the end of the episode like uh, 14 Giles was like really mad at her which like reason but I, f I forgot I totally forgot I was like in another mindset so that's why also Buffy like looked down on the floor when she came in and she was like I don't want to talk to her and it was just like fair fair it's like she came here to observe them and like when she found out that something was gonna happen she didn't tell them as well, so it's like, yeah, no, I get it. But I totally forgot, so I hope they, they make up. Um, mm, I hope they make up, but, like, she apologizes and shit. Because, you know, deserves <laughs> deserves an apology. So, yeah, that was, like, uh, a lot of Xander's issue with being unpopular. And also the fact that, like, these people don't have a fucking life. So it's like, what? Okay, you're just gonna interrupt your conversation to talk to someone and degrade them? Why? Does your life suck that bad? It's like... And, like, if it's just bullies... I mean, just bullies. It's a good thing. But if it's bullies, I'm like, fuck you, you know? You suck and you're a secretary person. But, like, it's the whole fucking school, bro. Everybody was talking about the fact that they broke up. And it's like, man. Maybe it's like... 
a different mindset culture and shit but it's like you i don't know really when you're in school you, you mind your own business i mean this is high school as well so for example it's different at university but like even in high school it's like i was close to the people because i was in cheerleading program uh not cheerleading like you guys have in the states or like that's most, most popular not just the states uh the sport the actual sport with competitions and world championships and stuff um like i never cheered at a football game is what i mean an american football game um and like we followed each other for the for our in quebec our high school is five years so we followed each other for like five years until like the pandemic and there was a whole thing but i'm not gonna get into that and so that's kind of why we i knew a lot of stuff about other people because you hear about it and you talk about it and stuff but like other people from the school could i tell you who was popular not really no i couldn't tell you could i maybe i mean i'm not a popular person so maybe that's why but like here everybody knew about the breakup and stuff it's like i don't fucking know i don't know this uh, this random person's name maybe it's because the school is smaller our school was still pretty big compared to what this looks like but still bro <laughs> Um, so I, I feel bad for him. The fact that he had, I mean, in the mindset that he was in, it makes sense that his that he went towards witchcraft instead of, I don't know, processing his feelings and stuff. Um, but it's kind of sad that he went to that. So yeah, let's look at the extras. Now let's put on the glosses. A spotlight on Mercedes McNabb. Uh, McNabb received her first notable, notable acting role in 1991 when she appeared as a Girl Scout selling cookies in the Addams Family. That's you? Oh. She played a more prominent role in the 1993 sequel Addams Family Values as snobby camper Amanda Buckman in 1997. McNabb was cast in a recurring role on the web TV show Buffy the Vampire Slayer. She additionally auditioned for the lead role of Buffy, but instead was cast as Harmony Kendall, a vapid popular high school student. She was part of the cast for the unpaired pilot. Pilot? Oh. Went on to get star in shows including Psych and Supernatural. Seriously? That's awesome. In 2007, she appeared in the lead role in the slasher movie Hatchet, directed... Their I can't speak today. Directed by Adam Green, she briefly appeared in the 2000 sequel Hatch 2 and afterwards starred in a number of direct to TV horror movies such as Dark Real and Thirst, as well as the TV movie Vipers. Meg Back was the cover model for and was featured in a nude pictorial in the November 2000 issue of Playboy magazine. Okay, that's weird. She was also featured in the FH. HM magazine, I don't know what that is. Magazine is January 2004, USA issue. McNabb and real estate developer Mark Henderson married on May 12, 2012, in La Paz, Mexico. The couple have two children, a daughter, and a son. She has not acted professionally since marrying. So, what do you do? Oh, maybe she's just stay at home with. Wait, why is this a spotlight? Oh, maybe because just he was a main thing in this episode. Nicholas Brendan. Oh my god, that's him old? No. No. Wait, when was he born? 71. Oh, he's older than... Okay. Nicholas Brendan was born Nicholas Brendan Schlutz on April 12, 1971, Los Angeles, three minutes after his identical twin brother, Kelly Donovan. Wait, they have... Oh no, that's his other second name. Okay. At the age of 25, after a pretty and successful attempt at an acting career, obtained the, obtained the role of Xander Harris. According to Joss Whedon, after Brenda was cast, guess, would anybody feel like shawarma? I feel like some shawarma. Wouldn't have described shawarma as the word that probably changed Brendan's life. Whedon and used the same, very same quotation as Tony... Stark's line, oh my god, that's, you're right, you're fucking right. As like, what did Brendan has done f for, 
as in work for the Stuttering Foundation of America, which happened, which approached him around 2001 and made him its honorary chairperson for its national stuttering. He has a stutter? That's, that's cool. Well, it's not cool, but you're gonna make. Be- Week in May 2001, 2002, and 2003. In 2004, he co starred in his first ABC family movie, Celeste in the City. The following year, he returned to Fox as part of the cast of Kitchen Confidential, based on the book by Chef Anthony Borden. 13 episodes were made, but the series was cancelled. <laughs> that sucks. 2004, in 2006, he voiced Hunts Boy, no- number 1984. Number 89 for season 2 of the animated series American Dragon. American Dragon! Oh, cool. The same year he reunited. I haven't watched it, but I know what it is. He, reuni- he reunited with former Buffy of Empire Slayer co star Charisma Carpenter in the IBC Family TV movie Relative Chaos. Also in 2006, Brendan co starred with Noah Wilde in the play Lobster Alice at the Blank Theater Company in Los Angeles. He subse- subsequently appeared in Blank Theater's annual Young. Playwrights Festival and its production of the Cent- Sentinel Diaries and Why Touch is Wrong and the People Who Love Them. In 2007, Nicholas began appearing on the TV series Criminal Minds. Oh, in the crew of the FBI technical analyst Kevin Lynch, he has appeared in episodes in each season through 2014. On September 29, 2010, he premiered his webcomic Very Bad Koalas. Co- oh, that's cool! Co-created with animation director producer Steve Lauder, the comic follows the journey of two sheltered and innocent koalas explaining a variety of people and places while on the run from the law in 1958. In a 1958 Cadillac Eldorado, on October 28, 2010, Brendan began a four-episode arc on ABC's Private Practice, playing Lee McHenry, a mentally disturbed man who assaults Charlotte King. Who's Charlotte King? Um, beginning in 2019, Nicholas discovered painting and is now offering hard work, photography, and merchandise under the Slightly Askew by Nicholas Brendan. Brendan has a recurring, reoccurring role as Chief Engineer Britman in the amateur sci-fi web series. Untitled web series about a space traveler can also, can also travel through time. An excellent Doctor Who parody. Brendan has... Sug- Struggled with many years with depression and alcoholism, leading to many run-ins with the law and multiple arrests and several convictions for destruction of property, random stuff, and domestic violence. Oh, that sucks. Oh. Okay. That's, yeah. That's not great. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing, I'm sorry. I was just awkward. Why are you in the cover? You were barely there. Look, Sandarin. <laughs> And there's no fear like a scan- slayer scorned. Well. Oh, that's so nice. She's gorgeous. She's so fucking cute. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, we're back. Uh, okay. 8.7 out of 10. Bewitched, bothered, and bewildered. <laughs> Death Count, One Part Vampire Steak by Buffy, A Quaint Shop Girl, Hard Removed by Angel, that's true, oh, I'm kind of sad, poor shop girl, rest in peace. Previously, when Spike attacked the school, the library door was broken from the inside successfully, but here the door is shown to open to the outside. Also, when Jenny leaves the library to go after Gender, the door swings outward and inward, indicating that the door goes both ways. So, what he did was literally useless. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Reading in English is hard. <laughs> when you have a second language. And you can't zoom in. That's not noosh. Okay. When casting the love spell for Xander, Amy asked the goddess Diana to make Cordelia submit. Yeah, I was wondering. Cause like Diana is not a love goddess. Diana is like the... It's... What? Her... Artemis, yeah, she's a goddess of the hunt. The moon, imp- yeah, because she's like, she's literally a virgin goddess. The goddess of love would be Venus, of Aphrodite. Furthermore, Diana is to be a maiden forever. It follows of her also sort of men. There you go. I was c- kind of confused. Um, when Cordelia and Xander leave the school, it's daytime, but on the next shot, when they walk towards Buffy's home, it's already dark. That's true. 
Alexander is doing his slow motion walk down the hallway just as he passes through the door. We see a black guy and a white guy behind him. A black guy and a... Oh, so two guys. Okay, I thought they were talking about the short colors. But no, because similar color button down the shirt. Okay, wait, what? We see a black guy and a white guy behind him wearing a similarly colored but button-down shirt. Okay. Okay, so he had the same shirt as Xander. Sorry, I... Grammar. I'm confused. After the camera cuts back to Xander twice, we see them again, this time standing on the other... Okay, so they just kind of repeat. They're like, ha, teleport, bitch! Ha! After Buffy has been turned into a rat and she runs away, the rat is clearly male. Dude, it was not... I, I could not tell. You're fine with that. I could not tell. When Miller tries attacking Xander with an axe, causing a scramble for the axe, it's clearly a prop as the axe's shaft bends. <laughs> Amy and Giles are in the chemistry lab performing a spell reversal when the potion lights up with a blast. Giles' tie flies back and it is clearly being pulled by a string as the movement is completely unnatural. Lol. When Angelus throws Xander off the roof of Buffy's house, you can see a row of six 2x4s popping up the porch rafter to support the weight of the stunned men on the roof. They replace the giant appear to be a part of the porch, but they don't appear in any other shot of the house in the series. Yeah. That's kind of awesome. Wait. <laughs> That's true. I did not notice that at all. Oh my god, yeah. It's slowly bended. Traveling tie. <laughs> I love their title. We're getting there. We're getting there. There's a fly. I make it super. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Who died in the Jew Elvis Elvis Presley? I knew that one. She left you before you invoked their great Rufy spirit. Rufy is a common slang term for Rohypno, also known as the daped rape drug. Named for a person's tendency to slip into. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know that was an actual thing. Yeah, that, that's when you go to bars, you cover up your drinks, obviously. I didn't know there was like a name for that. The title episode comes from the Frank Sinestra song Bewitch, written by Richard Rogers and Lawrence Hart. The crest of song is a foul. I'm wild again, be wild again, a whimpering, stamping child, bewitched, bothered, and bewildered. Am I? Oh, that makes sense. First time the name Alpert. Oh no, this is where I missed it. I'm so sorry. It's shown on a tomb. Alpert. This tomb appears in seven other episodes. Seven. Below the Etnia sticker is Xander's Zoom, a sticker reading sheep is shown. Yeah. I can see very well this one. The same sticker can also be seen inside of Cordelia's locker and skull down to the woman who followed Xander like sheep as well. A screen assigned to Harmony at the end. Harvard could also be an advanced sticker. This sticker will appear in two other episodes if you can find them. I will try. <laughs> in the beginning, Harmony hunts... Harmony taunts Cordelia by asking when she and Xander are going to start swearing, start wearing or matching outfits so she can puke at the end Cordelia and Xander. Oh, for vrai? And are wearing our curly curling outfits. Oh, that's awesome. Then comes Brandon claims that this is one of his favorites and find it hard not to laugh while filming the seduction scenes. Honestly, fair. An X Men 2002? 2099? Oh. I was like, the future <laughs> is seen on the wall next to Xander's bed above his nightstand. Joss Whedon is an avid X Men fan, sitting, citing Kitty Pride as an inspiration for the Buffy character. He also wrote a 24 issue run for Astonishing X Men in 2008. The song which Dingo's Ate My Baby Played Pain can also be heard. Tamara Brown, who plays one of the frenzied girls, appears as a vampire Tara in season 2, episode 1, when she was bad. I did not remember. The first use of the term Big Bad in the quote, the big bad thing in the dark, however, the term would later be shortened to just Big Bad, and will be used repeatedly throughout the series to describe the major villains. The Big Puffin! It's, um, 
it's a thing my dad says that I say no. Uh, basically, it's the big. Prepa means not. Uh, fine means being kind. So the big puffin, big puffin is the big not kind, but the big puffin! The big villains. Uh, the term for use here will go on to be used by many other shows and because part of a common language. Maybe it was inspired by this, although I know my parents never watched Buffy. Also, Ben Diggles ate my baby, ate my baby, before on stage for the first time since Inca Mummy Girl. Huh. Well, did you look at that? Oh my god, now we're 30. After this episode, Sky One in the UK pulled Buffy from his schedule and placed it with Third Rock from the Sun. It was almost exactly one year before Buffy was shown again after fans camping for Sky to air the remaining six episodes from season two. Huh. Just because one more supernatural film to be attracted to Janet joining Natalie French and the Inca Mummy Girl. Buffy was turned into a rat to allow Sarah Michelle Geller time off to rehearse and perform on Saturday Night Live. For real? One of being episode 17 was originally supposed to be episode 60, but the creators had to concoct something in a hurry to accommodate. Oh. We wrote it in a matter of days. We were like, we have to think of something that will turn Sarah into a rat for four days. Sarah shot all of her scenes first before she left to film SNL. Oh, that's so clever. Buffy re receives a long box full of roses with a card that says, Soon in the film, I know what you did last summer. Sarah Michelle Gellar's character awakens to find the same message written on her mirror, mirror lipstick. <gasps> Pour vrai? Oh, that's amazing. <gasps> French! Un, un, un charme déroutant. Okay, so this one is the same the love spell manhunt. <laughs> Cross love, be which concerned and confused. Hocus pocus, it's so random. What the fuck? <laughs> I know, like, it's for magic and stuff, but, like, it's so random. Um, so, yeah, that was the episode. I had a lot of fun. Uh, it was a great episode, like, talking a lot about Xander, and we get, to, it was, like, a lot about Willow last episode, or more like Oz, but, like, relating to her character, it's like. It's kind of like they're doing, like, Buffy, Willow, Xander, Buffy, Willow. Obviously not, but yeah. So this was really nice. So I hope you guys liked it. If you did, don't be afraid to leave a like, comment, we follow below, subscribe to see more. You can check out my Patreon and the Discord. And I'll see you guys next time. Next time. Ciao.